Hello everyone and welcome to the PlayStation Access Podcast. This week we are building the ultimate fighting game by combining all the best bits of the genre into one very unhinged masterpiece. Expect football cross-examination, spooky singing and plenty of statements that really need fact-checking. Now, fight! Hello everybody, welcome to the PlayStation Access Podcast, the official podcast of PlayStation UK, where this week we are building the perfect fighting game. Uh... Asterisk. (laughs) Asterisk what? Fighting game may not be perfect. (laughs) (laughs) No, it definitely will. It'll be the ultimate. Uh, It's a game I will want to play, I feel certain. I feel certain of that. It's definitely a game I'll want to play. Will it be perfect? I'm excited to create it with you. After the RPG one we did, I'm excited to see what we create together. Yeah, I didn't get to be part of the RPG one, so they get chaotic. my time to have to make my stamp. You get to be silly. You get to be uh, yeah. silly with us. I know. I'm so good at rule breaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you have seen our previous episode on RPGs, we made the ultimate RPG, which was a mess and uh, <laughs> was it was derived from taking all the pieces from other games and putting them together into the best mix of games yeah to make the ultimate one that's yeah. what you do if you like something you tear it apart take the bit you like the most and stick it to other stuff yeah, Do- yeah. dr frankenstein yeah mary shelley knew what's up yeah oh, i can't i can't talk about her anymore i've already spoke about her loads on the podcast <laughs> last week so this week i have picked us some names inspired by fighting games oh cool mm, yeah by characters in fighting games okay so, so my name is really good so i'm gonna go with rosie's first uh, <laughs> mine not so good well yours is riozi hey i don't know why yeah. when you said that, i was like am i gonna have a ryu angle so yeah. i'm happy with that riozi which just felt like the textbook pun for for that one riozi yep. i'm works. happy with that it works yeah. which is ryu from street fighter so thank you for, for clearing Rosie. that up yeah. yeah uh dave yeah you are right dave <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Right. I think I'll take it. Yeah. Like Raiden from Mortal like Raiden, Kombat. yeah. Or, uh, is it Raiden? Oh no. Oh yeah. I think it's Raiden because I've always grown up saying Raiden. I remember playing Mortal Kombat One. They say Raiden. Yeah. And I was just like, I need to keep on. I need to change everything I've said since I was a child. It's one of the ones that I know. I know the answer when I'm playing it. I'm like, oh yeah, of course it's that guy. And yeah. then like as soon as I leave, I'm like, uh, Ray. Oh. Ray. Oh. I, I do it with um, the girl from The Exorcist as well. I call her Regan all the time. She's Reagan, but I'm always like Regan. Yeah, um, no, bad audience for that. Yeah, Ash, yeah. Sorry, I co- I just completely forgot she had a name. Have you like, seen it? Yeah, seen yeah. I, I saw it so years brave. ago. All right, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> years ago. Yeah. Not in that sense. I think I, I watched it as a teen with my brother. He showed it to me. Right, and, fantastic. Uh, and yeah, I, did, I forgot that character had a name. Yeah, she does. Yeah. So am I Raiden? No, Ray Dave or Rye Dave? That's up I'm to you. Ray Dave. Ray Dave. I think. Ray Dave sounds Ray Dave, like yeah. uh, okay. Ray Dave sounds like a rave. It's a Ray Dave. Dave. It's a Ray yeah. Dave. That's a Ray Dave. Yeah. Come on then, Ash. Let's hear your name. Okay. This, it's it's a double barreler. Okay. So Kazuyash. Kazuyash. Yeah. Mil Mishiman. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What a stretch. <laughs> Mil Mishiman is Mil top Mishiman. <laughs> I think that's my favourite one you've ever done. Mil yeah. Mishiman. It works. You can't say it doesn't work. It exists. It exists. <laughs> a textbook. It example lives. Of a it book. will what live. Kaz Zuma. Kazumash. Kazuyash. Oh, Kazuyash. 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 Mishi Milman. Mashi- no, Mil, Mil Mishi Man. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Mil Mishi Man. Mil Mishi Man. I said Mishiman. without having to look down. Yeah. I know, I'm trying to say it without just being corrected. As in like Kazuyash? Yeah. Mil Mishi Man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it just works. It just works. See, it rolls off the tongue. Exactly. I'll tell you what else rolls off the tongue. The preview for what is happening in this week's podcast. So we're going to move to our main feature, which will have the perfect fighting game within it. It will. Built by yours truly. And also Rosie and I. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, the, yeah. yeah. Uh, ours truly. Yeah. The, ours the truly. queen's yours. Oh, my God. You say the king's yours now? Yeah. Well, unless you mean the specifically the queen no but like oh no the royal way is what it is isn't it the, it's the ro- royal way the royal y- your 
the royal yours. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to go into comments of the week, which are community highlights from the hashtag Pod Squad. Pod Squad. Squad. We've also got Before We Go, where we're going to talk about some stuff outside of gaming to prove we are real life flesh people. We are real people. But first, on that worrying note, what android has taken the place of Dave? Let's find out in What's New. What is new this week? Please tell us. Is. Oh. Well, actually, you're going to tell me what's new this week, Dave. Am I? Yeah, because you're our correspondent on the ground. You know, sports correspondent. Yeah, for, for EA Sports FC 24 on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 that came out on the 29th of September. Yes, it came out yesterday. Yeah. Although if you had pre-ordered, you got it a week early. Ooh. That is a good amount of time, isn't it, for a pre-order? A whole week. Yeah, mm. you can really like, lord it over you people. Really, especially when there's things like Ultimate Team and stuff yeah. and you're getting ahead of the game a little bit, you know, making My your team more good. ultimate than yours. What is Ultimate Team? I, this is my main question. What oh is god it? what is ultimate team is it like fantasy football it's like fantasy football it's kind of like that and kind of like like sticker book collecting you basically play matches and if you and when you win matches oh and stuff god, i thought you meant like strike no no football matches <laughs> <laughs> i was like what's the game of matches <laughs> and you win little like packs of yeah. players okay and you you know get the whole reveal you're like oh like getting sticker book yeah. uh, sticker packs you're like what's in there and it, you get different players it's all kind of random you okay. could get an amazing player and you can get different versions of the same player like as well oh and God. then you put so them all together, that you get shinies okay. yeah and then you put them together in a team so you're constantly trying to like get new players and better players and then there's a whole like chemistry thing where like <gasps> if you get players all from like a similar country or from a similar cl- or the same club uh, the same country not a similar country I don't know what that means <laughs> we're all similar countries uh, then they do well and so it's like this whole thing of building like teams and then you take your team online and you beat your friends or enemies or what do you randoms. get more players oh, more to players. build a more ultimate team yes so uh, for the first time ever in uh, an EA Sports football game mm. this year, Ultimate Team is now, you can now make a uh, mixed gender Ooh. team. That's cool. Women's players can now be in teams with men's yes. players and vice versa. It's the same thing. Um, which I think is really, really cool. That yeah. is cool. I only know Megan Rapino. I she don't know any. Team? Who's that? A, f- a footballer? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know every footballer. She was the one with the the pink hair. She's from America, right? Oh yeah, I do know her with the yeah, pink hair. I actually, see. yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. She can, she's in it. Maybe she can be in it. <laughs> Maybe she can be in it. Yeah, I don't know any. I'm well, afraid. if you get her in the pack, mm. I don't know exactly which which players are are available. What but, about Eric Harland? Uh, Erling Harland, oh, yeah. or Eric Harland is little known brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in it too. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, it's there's lots of all the players, all the big ones, all the big. What all about the big Matty ones. Longstaff? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about him. What about Billy Wright? Oh yeah, Billy's in it. Billy Wright's in it. I don't know who's Billy Wright. Oh, he's a Wolves legend. Oh, is he? Yeah. Is he really? He's yeah. a Wolves legend. He's, he's probably not in it. There's a to statue be honest. of him at the Molyneux. Is there? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I know everyone always goes, "Who's Billy Wright?" The statue of him at the Molyneux. Yeah. Did your Why history? Why am I the sports co- correspondent? You should be doing this. I only know about Billy Wright and all of the members that were once in Newcastle for some reason. Right. Okay. Like uh, the man with the bandana, Maximan. Sam Maxima. Not, not sure. And also um, Matty Longstaff's brother, Sean Longstaff. Okay, the Longstaff yeah. brothers. Also Mike Ashley, he was a manager. Also Bruce Ashley. I know Mike Ashley. Or Bruce Ash- someone. Ashley yeah. from shops, right? Yeah. He shops. yeah, he's the shop man. I'm just hearing names. <laughs> Bruce, who everyone liked. Uh, yeah. But then he did bad. Did he? I think so. I don't know. He's not the manager anymore. Anyway, FC24, <laughs> it may or may not have some of those people in it. Okay. Definitely has Erling Haaland in it. Yes, because he's the cover star. He's on, he's he? on the cover. Yeah. And uh, one more thing that I think is exciting this year is that they've got like this new system for capturing animation. Oh, I read about this. Yes. It's so yeah. cool. Because usually, you know, like in most games, they've been doing it with mocap suits. Mm-hmm. So they'd have to get footballers to wherever get them in a mocap suit get them to try and recreate stuff and like you know it's worked really really well to be fair like I mean all the EA football games have been they've always looked great like a, the presentation of them is, is amazing but you, I'm sure you can't quite get a player to move exactly as they do 
on the pitch when they're like in the moment trying to score the goal or whatever. <laughs> so they're now, they, they've developed a tech... <laughs> sports <laughs> correspondent. That's right, I do the sports. So now they've developed a tech technology where they can use like just footage from from actual games apparently they recorded 180 matches over the past year with like these big 4k 120 frame cameras so it's just real match data of real players playing in those matches and they're capturing the animations and they're making that is all uh, affecting the hypermotion v oh. engine which i think is really really cool yeah. because it me and it like that sort of thing you know eventually that could well go out to like other developers of other mm. kinds of games and suddenly anyone is doing mocap just with footage from yeah cameras and stuff so i i oh i can't remember precisely so it's you know don't take any of this as gospel but okay. i'm sure nba have done some really cool things like the 2k games as yeah. well are doing some really cool visual updates mm. and kind of getting the movements and moments in there yeah um but i know the the ea sports games are are crazy for for that sort of stuff or, uh, the coverage i've done of them for um store and looking yeah. up different bits of them there's always there's always something on hand they've made it even more realistic than ever when it already yeah. looks even more it realistic looks so than amazing ever. And the presentation. I always think they must sit down every every year and go, "Oh God, what are we going to do this? It's looking great. I don't know. What can we shoelaces next? What we do? <laughs> yeah, shoe lace laces. Tech. Yeah. yeah, real shoelace lace tech. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of that man who's like? I don't know what's happened. Oh yeah, Chris Chris Kamara. Yeah, it's Chris Kamara. Is he in it? I don't. I don't know. He can, might be. Can they, we get they, Chris they, they have loads of like commentary teams in it as well. Is David so. Beckham in. He might be Ash. Is he Wayne, might be. Is Wayne Rooney in it? I can name one. There you go, Wayne Rooney. I, can't, I couldn't say. He might be in like the sort of World Eleven or something. Like an old World Eleven. He's not currently playing football. Yeah. Okay. But you might get like some historic teams and things like that where he might show up. I don't know. <laughs> I got a. I got. Please don't ask me any more now. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, sports correspondent Dave. You're welcome. Uh, you were assigned sports, um, much like Bart in The Simpsons when they did the news coverage, yeah. for being fun and zany, but also because I know that you and Rob are competitive sports game players as well. So you guys going to oh, yeah. be battling with the feet? Yeah, Rob loves Good. real football. I love digital football. Yeah. And yeah, I think so. I mean, we actually have now done a stream of FC24 what? this week, what? which what? I haven't seen because it's actually in the future for us right now. Yeah. But like we're going to play some co-op uh career mode, which yeah. I'm really really looking forward to. Rob and I've had such a lot of fun over the years with career modes in in football games. So You're not going to you're not going to have like a match against each other or anything or is it purely I'm sure we will. <laughs> Traditionally they're quite it's a, when Rob and I play for some reason it's they're usually a bit boring like nil nil. Oh, very well matched. Very well, well matched. matched. That's why it is. Yeah. yeah. You need to get nice sun in. I think I'm good at defence. Rob's good at attack, and that's and that they just cancel a each other out. A stalemate. A stalemate. Exactly. You yeah. should agree to swap, and you attack, and he defend. Yeah. I well, we I do do that. I'm just not very good at it, and he's not. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, but he's not very good at defending. Don't know. It's nil nil. Everyone's everyone's gonna score. Who knows? Give us some more football you tactics, please. <laughs> what is the formation you use? Is it the flying V? Oh, is that a formation? Uh, no, they they're numbers, aren't they? They're like four four two. Oh, it's got to add up to ten. Uh, uh, how about a six one one one? That's nine. What a- <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I only need nine. Oh, yeah. so, oh, is there, oh, is there nine. such thing that as a one 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 one? One. <laughs> I've lost my count. Uh, I've lost just my count. I'm you count to ten there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess there could be. Why not? Right. I, I probably should move on. I've just really enjoyed quizzing you about Thanks. the football. I, know, I, mostly, I don't here. know. I feel on edge. My heart's been beating really fast this <laughs> whole time. Know. I don't know. I don't know. It's not like the worst interview ever. Uh, can you choose the... the... Stop asking me questions. <laughs> Tell us what else is new this week. Okay. All right. Fine. The other thing that's new this week that came out the 28th of September. Now, maybe you guys have heard of this. Maybe you haven't. I'm hoping you haven't because I get to tell you about it. Pizza possum. I can confirm I have not. <laughs> the title weirdly oh, rings a yeah, bell. Oh, yeah, Rosie's heard of every game. <laughs> but, oh, guys, Rosie's come on. Rosie's got the platinum. Oh, I got the platinum already. <laughs> no, I have weirdly heard of it. Pizza Possum. Yes. Okay. Well, let me tell you about Pizza Possum. Please do, yeah. The, the pair of you who do definitely not know. No, I don't know <laughs> anything about it. I've just heard the title and I'm just like, I've heard that somewhere, but I know nothing. So... Okay, this is wild, right? It's about a pizza. No, possum. No, I've already got it wrong. <laughs> it's about a possum that eats pizza. Okay. Not about a pizza that eats possum. That's good. Uh, so it's about a little possum and you run around as the possum and your goal is to eat as much as possible without getting caught by 
guard dogs. Okay. So you like you'll aim for the pizza and then you'll you'll fl- flaunt yourself in the face of royalty and steal their crown oh, wow. and run around chewing, chomping, eating things, hiding in a bush, jumping out of a bush, chomp chomp chomp, run as fast as possible. It's like Untitled Goose Game if Untitled Goose Game were about a possum eating pizza. Okay. Is it kind of is it actually like Untitled Goose Game? Is it is it, it, it like a little bit vibes. slower? No. You know, okay, it's very fast. Sounds quite fast-paced, yeah. It's fast when you're being chased. Okay, the trailer I watched was very like, whoa, I'm a crazy possum. But yeah. I think you, you can do it stealthily because there was like alert signals over the the dogs as well. Right, okay. Oh. So I think, and you can jump in bushes. So you could be okay. like, and then jump in the bush and then... Got you. Yeah. <laughs> you be like, what, sorry? <laughs> I sounded like the Australian man who yeah. <laughs> came bounding over. They came, <laughs> they came bounding over. <laughs> um, but yeah, these guys love pizza in Pizza Possum. Yeah. On PS5. Right now. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> uh, also, coming up next week, we've had what's out, and now we've got what's coming up. Uh-huh. It is the 5th of October. What does that mean? I know, I know, I know, because I'm really excited. Yeah. Oh, I hope it's Assassin's Creed Mirage. It is. Yes. It's, yes. Your eyes do not deceive you. Yes. I'm so excited for this game. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. I'm. I'm... As excited as I've been for an Assassin's Creed game ever. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm. Maybe more so. I, I really am. And it's actually partly down to your video, Ash, on the channel. We have a video on uh, okay, PlayStation Access, which is something like five ways it goes back to its roots. Mm-hmm. Something like that. And that is what really excites me. It does look like... I mean, I have really enjoyed how Assassin's Creed has developed over the years and some of the best ones some of my favourites are probably like Origins Odyssey um, oh, but Black Flag for me I love Black Flag Black Flag, Flag is fantastic yeah. but I love Assassin's Creed 2 mm. and I love like I remember very distinctly the the hype around the original Assassin's Creed launch just it was amazing it looked incredible it was like nothing we'd ever seen before and I feel that way about this one it feels just like I don't know I was just I'm really looking forward to it setting one massive city mm. the architecture looks beautiful mm. um, just being a little sneaky assassin wandering around doing some stealth Hidden kills. Blade's back isn't it the Hidden Blade is... is back and it's like I think it really encourages you not to be overt mm. with your attacking and stuff which which really appeals to me like you can you know you if it goes a bit wrong you can deal with it but it seems like very much kind of like getting intel looking for ways in yeah planning your route being sneaky hiding bodies just i just really really stoked for <laughs> it like, ah. to yeah. be fair i because i only played assassin's creed one back on the ps3 mm. like years and years and years ago and then i haven't really played an assassin's creed since like I, I think I dabbled in here and there, but not like properly. Yeah. Um. But since we we when we did our top ten games at a ten years old video, yeah. Assassin's Creed Black Flag was included in that, and mm. I captured it. And I was running around, and I was like, "Oh my god, I've, I've never played Black Flag, but I'm having a lot of fun." It's felt great to go back to this sort of Assassin's Creed, like you know the original ways of it yeah um so yeah with mirage seeing it come back i'm also just like yes i mean just because that's the only assassin's creed that i've sort of experienced i've heard the open world stuff's amazing and fantastic and i've heard nothing but good stories but for me it's just like nothing's changed it's just like yeah Yeah. assassin's creed sneaking around well rosie you need to know just to be clear there's no boats (laughs) in in assassin's (laughs) creed black flag you you obviously have your own ship and you're doing a lot of piratey things but there's no ships in this one. But otherwise, yeah, a lot of the, you know, you're still parkouring and... Climbing the building, Climbing and doing stealth takedowns and all sorts of things. But yeah, I think it looks fantastic. I really can't wait for it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks good. <laughs> uh, my friend who who has played lots of, if not all, of the Assassin's Creed games, but is a little bit more like casual on the gaming side of things just because she hasn't been around her consoles as much recently. She's been doing things outside. What the hell? Really? Um, But yeah, I know. (laughs) (laughs) What What is there? Um, But we were talking about Assassin's Creed Mirage the other day because she didn't realise it was coming out. And as soon as I said Basim, she was like, ah! (laughs) <laughs> like she was so gassed to see more on Basim, so yeah. that's exciting as well. Yeah. Ah, just nice, just a nice little aside there. It is. Uh, the only other thing that's coming up soon, it's September 30th. Yeah. So you know what's tomorrow. I'm not changing my name. I'm not changing my name on Slack. I'm not changing my name on Twitter. I refuse. 
I refuse. Halloween. It's coming. not Halloween. Halloween, Halloween is one day of the year. Coming. Halloween is one day of the witches year. Witches will be after. <laughs> there you. are no witches. Halloween's no such thing as witches. Coming. <laughs> Halloween's Stop it. coming. Halloween's coming. Rosie, talk to her. Oh my God, she's in a Halloween mode. You know, you can't interrupt Ash when she's in Halloween oh, mode. No, yeah, we, well, you can with a yawn. Yeah, yeah, with a yawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say it. Don't I don't say need it. to yawn anymore. Oh, Hang no. on, maybe I can. Oh, no, it's, it's worse. Just, 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 just chat to me. Yawn as well. She's fatigued. She's yeah. fatigued at any given moment. <laughs> for, the, for the listener, we should say that whilst setting up for this podcast, we learned that. Ash cannot resist a yawn if you tempt her into it. <laughs> yeah, I just and didn't want it. She's yawning now. <laughs> anytime that she annoys me now, I'm going to have to channel a yawn. You have to channel a yawn. You have to start getting more sleep. Yeah. <laughs> or do that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. We're, me and my parents, um, we used to have a thing where we'd have a competition to see who could sing uh, uh, Halloween's Coming in the Spookiest. Okay. So we should do that now. So you've got to do it the scariest possible. This was when I was a child, but uh, I. Is this, this isn't an actual song, is it? Uh, well, it, don't worry. We're going to sing it scary enough that it won't get copyrighted. But, but what are the words? But is it an actual song? Yeah, Halloween's coming, Halloween's coming, and then witches will be after you is the last line. But just do Halloween's coming, okay. Halloween's coming. Where's the song from though? Just out of interest. I don't know. My parents used to sing it to me oh, okay. a lot, but it's from somewhere. Right. Okay. So you got to as scary as possible, as spooky and monstrous as possible. Oh. Go on, Dave. You no, go first. No, I don't know. If I can. Oh, don't be shy. I have. No, I'm just trying to figure out what would be scary. Mm. I'm at the end <laughs> where I'm like, I've got multiple angles. You could take this. Languages. Angles. Oh, I was like, what? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, let me just one of my many languages. <laughs> uh, Come on. I'm nervous. You can do that. You just have have to you do done the, yours? That was line. yours. I, uh, I can do another. Do another one. Uh, I, I, I'm not your performing monkey. <laughs> you said I could I, do another. <laughs> <laughs> do another. No. <laughs> I'm not your performing monkey. <laughs> so you could be like... You have to get the claw up. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween's coming. Halloween's coming. You're like the little go- goblin sidekick. Yeah, yeah. That's Master. <laughs> Master. So, um, oh, Dave's preparing. I can yeah. see no, it. I, I was trying to find it. Like, I'm trying to find the physical form that will enable the voice. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Rosie, I th- you must have one. All right, I'll just do my monster deep demon voice. Okay. Halloween's coming. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's just the word popping. I don't know With what my demon be. voice. <laughs> Stars. Everyone's like Nem Nem Stars. Um, go on, Dave. <laughs> go on, Dave. Oh God, do somewhere the, in between. Do the funny song, Dave. <laughs> Halloween's coming. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Halloween's coming. All right, <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a golem, but it kind of yeah. like you owned a magical shop. Like <laughs> <laughs> Very good, oh, everyone. Like the children's story kind of creepy wizard. Yeah. There was around. a lot of hand action there. For yeah. anyone listening, I did. I needed a lot of hand action to help me. you got to you got to get through it how you can. So yeah. if you guys have survived my uh, cringy little detour there, <laughs> well done. And I'm going to move you on to our next section to escape the Halloween grasp. So let's go to the main feature. We're in the main feature. I, when we record this, it really makes me laugh that it's like, we're going to go to the main feature. It's like, we're in the main feature. Yeah. And then I, I always think, oh, it's going to sound so much different when people are listening to it. Like there's going to be a musical sting. It'll feel like it's been ages. Yeah. And like, every time I listen to it, I'm like, no, it, it's literally just it's literally just me saying the same thing. Twice. We're in the main <laughs> feature. <laughs> we're in the main. I haven't brought back the, whoa. Before. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. I was watching old podcasts the other day, just reminiscing. Just, just nost- with the good times. Nost- the good Nostalgizing about it. Is that a word? No, it's probably not. But I was nostalgizing about it and I saw us doing the. Well, I saw me doing it and all of you guys going. Oh. Well, it's probably because you didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah, probably because you'd like, whoa, I'm in the main <sighs> feature. And we're all like, oh, okay, this is the thing. Uh, yeah. The room's remarkably still, Ash. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, this main feature, we're going to be building the perfect fighting game. Mm. So. There's not really a lot of rules for this because I think the joy of this one, where RPG, the rules were that any of our entries for the five categories that create the game yeah. description um, had to be from an RPG game and they couldn't be repeated from from other entries. Now, we're still going to do, we can't repeat it from the same franchise or area um, because that's just a great rule. That's, yeah, yeah that's, that's just forced creativity, which is my favourite kind. 
Um, but this one, I'm going to allow you to be a lot more loosey goosey with it. I've gone very loosey goosey with this. It's yeah. going to be chaotic because oh I, f- I feel like fighting is such a main staple. It's like a staple uh, uh, of many other genres and the fighting genre is the distillation of that. So what I've dug into with our categories is kind of the funny <clears throat> stuff around a fighting game that always okay. comes out. I do like the funny stuff. Yeah, so there's five categories that I think make a fighting game that we're going to have to pick to make the perfect one. Okay. So the first one is the messed up family at the centre of the story. Yeah. What broken relationship is happening in the middle of this? The second category is the reason why the fighters are fighting. So, you know, something like Tekken, it's the Iron Fist tournament in Mortal Kombat. It's just because they love killing there's probably a better <laughs> it's, reason but be- between their fighting it's the earth realm and the yeah. other realm isn't it yeah, the, yeah there is a real reason it's not. the realms you know the, the realms, classic, the classic you know, realms. they're just bickering just clash being, of the realms just being silly uh, and then there's street fighter where it's like fight. their whole world is built around fighting and like being the ultimate fighter is is super honourable so we need a reason why mm. we're going to go to uh, number three which will be the special move yeah. like the the fatality for using Mortal Kombat mo- words yeah Yes. Uh, the finisher. Yeah, the moment at the end where everyone goes. Wah! Yeah. Category four is going to be a crazy peripheral that professionals swear by. Yeah. So something like your joystick attachments yeah. or the stuff like that, where they're like, "What what thing do you need to to be able to play this at its purest form?" Yeah. Just harking back to the days of arcade gaming cabinets that fighting games were born from. Yeah. And the final one is the guest star from other media. Mm. So. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's reverse. Rewind. Rewind. And get back to the first one, which is the messed up family at the centre of the story. <laughs> you seem so excited about messed up family. <laughs> the messed up family. <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking about, well, well, Rosie, you suggested this because as a Tekken head, a, te- a tech head, I don't know what the fans of Tekken are called. I don't really know, really. Yeah. Just just a Tekken player. Te- te- <laughs> Tekkenite. Tekken... Tekken, Tekken crew. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. As a crew member. Yeah. As a crew member of Tekken, um, that obviously is entrenched with bitter family dynamics. Mm. Well, it's not only with Tekken. It was also with like Mortal Kombat. You've yeah. got this, like some sisters. Um, I had like other examples at the time, but there's, <laughs> but, but there's always there's always some yeah. kind of like just little little family mechanic. Yeah. So who who are you thinking that would who are you thinking would comprise the bulk of your characters for this fighting game and what's their family dynamic? Well, I saw that when I was looking at the notes, I saw you already gave examples. So yeah. I've I've picked an example that wasn't what you've picked, oh, what you wrote. Okay. But you, I did, you did have one which I thought was very good. Yeah. Um, so I thought about the family in Hades. Um, okay. with Because oh. you've got Zagreus who's trying to escape hell and his dad is Hades and, you know, he's like the, the lord of the underworld and stuff. So I was, and, you know, so just the dynamic of you fighting to get away from your dad and he's just like, you know. Oh. Well, they're all like Greek yeah, and right? they're Greek gods Famously as well. Famously dysfunctional family. Yeah. Very lots dysfunctional. Of, lots of dysfunctional things happening uh, yeah. there. You've just picked the Greek pantheon, which is like <laughs> perfect. It's hard to argue with that, yeah. right? I'll be honest. Like, yeah, that's <laughs> very good. Yeah, they, they are really dysfunctional. Yeah. Lots, See, I, I was, mean, lots of fights happening anyway. Yeah. I was mainly thinking of specifically between Zagreus and Hades, but you're right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about everyone else's. Well, aren't the other gods like cousins and they're all yeah, like cousins of, hate, of Zagreus and stuff? stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, there's lots lots of people being with different people mm. and lots of that sort of stuff. I so it works so well. Yeah. I I I don't know how if I can go on. I mean I just like <laughs> that's yeah, I really nailed it. We've got to throw we've got to throw it in and then we can choose it. Well I was think I don't want to be like really typecast, um, but <laughs> I, I was thinking about the Skywalker family. Oh, okay. Because they are pretty dysfunctional as well. Yeah. Like you've got well, you've got the Luke and Leia. You've got business. the Luke and Leia situation, which is uh, you know that's a bit weird. And then obviously you've got Darth Vader. Spoilers yeah. is their dad, but also what? Did you, you mean the know? man? The man called Dark Father. It, a Dark it, Father. <laughs> Only if you speak Dutch or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then, you know, obviously... Well, you've uh, also got Anakin's origin as well of where his hate sort of came from with his mother exactly. and stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, you've got like, you could throw in Rey, even though she's a Palpatine, mm. but then the Palpatines could be like well, yeah. the other family. It the, could yeah. be like the Star Wars. feuds, yeah. Exactly. The and then Rey can be on the wrong side of it. Yeah. Or, you know, she can... 
pop over to the Skywalkers and then yeah. there's a big so I did think that there is something in that I do I, I did I liked that no I, yeah I can definitely <laughs> see that I can but, definitely see see that happening but I think I think the Greek pantheon is that would be so sick it like, would be yeah. really cool yeah that's they, a really good idea because the only problem with the Skywalkers mostly is they're all in terms of like move set and stuff they're mostly the same. It's lightsaber. <laughs> it's lightsaber and or force. just guns. Yeah. yeah. You could do, this is the thing though, you could do like force powers where it's like crush brain or like pull arm off or yeah. like force mind meld battle and stuff like that. Like you can be. You, you can, can be creative yeah. for sure. But yeah. it just feels slightly more limited than uh, feels. Like if I was doing it, yeah. I'd be scraping the barrel quite quickly after lightsaber <laughs> and gun. I'd be like, um, uh, "What else Force we got? Push. Yeah. Force push, Force push, knife. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, mind meld is something else. By the way, Ash, I've got to tell you there. That, that's that? that's Star Trek. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's upset many people right oh, now. Man. That's where it's That's come from. That's Mr. Spock does a mind melt. Is that it's what it's called? It's a Vol- Vulcan thing. I thought he just did the Vulcan death grip. Or he does like, that too. Death but grip. yeah, no, he does that. You oh, know, man, they should do a Star Trek one. That'd be so good. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> In the calmness of Star Trek, suddenly they lose it. They yeah. all oh, go God. mad. They are not calm, Rosie. They're well, a no, mess. I've, well, I mean, I've only seen the the six films, like the original six films. <laughs> I've only seen six films. I've only seen six films. I've only seen the six films. But in comparing it to Star Wars, yeah. Star Trek's not as action focused, would you say? I, always... I think that's fair. Yeah. It's yeah. A so more... when I say like the calmness, it's like, you know, when you compare the two, it's like more about the exploration and the journey, I'd say, in Star Trek. So it's yeah. like yeah. they're just on a journey and then Spock has enough and he does the death grip and then all <laughs> chaos gets out. <laughs> and the way he's like, live long. Yeah. No, you don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't prosper. Yeah, yeah, live short and die. The needs of me outweigh you. <laughs> <laughs> Just with the... With the Come on. Come on. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, oh wouldn't great. that be just chaos? Yeah, it would be chaos, yeah. Mm. Do you want to throw anything in, Ash? Because you did have some good ideas mm. on your I sheet, did. which you shared with us. I did, yeah. I shared the sheet because I wanted everyone to feel uh, encouraged in their creativity. Yes. So I came up with uh, the Resident Evil 7 family. Yeah, that's I thought this was a really good shout I thought that was well. a really good shout because they are just messed up and there's quite a few of them and they are all family related and they all hate each other and they're infected which makes them just really aggressive anyway so yeah uh, but they can I, transform yeah because they all have like individual powers as well because you've got Jack Baker who's like welcome to the family son yeah. who's all about punching I thought that was his power there <laughs> <laughs> his powers, welcome to the family <laughs> son <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but maybe he could like well Evelyn is the one that you have big stuff with and I'm not going to talk too much about her just in case we get into spoiler territory for anybody who wants to play the game but Evelyn as a character maybe could have more of the stuff that goes on in that game yeah. uh, we've got Marguerite who's bug based like yes. she could have bug powers yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got the brother who I always forget the name of Lucas thank you Ooh, and Lucas upsetting. who's a little techie robot boy so mm. we could like send out little machines and stuff and there is the sister as well, who's, again, the one who's a bit more like, oh, I don't want to deal with my bad family. Yeah. So maybe she could have, like, I don't know, just good stuff she does, that like uh, sings a nice song or something. <laughs> 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 she can be, like, the, the sort of peaceful fighter. Like, you've yeah. got a June Kazama in uh, Tekken, and she's very yeah. much, like, nature and just trying to, like, cure the world of bad things. Oh, so. Yeah. That could be Zoe's fight. And also you've got Mia who could just run in with yeah. a, like a, a big chainsaw. Yeah, she's our weapon wheel. Yeah. Though. Like, <laughs> you can have two versions of Mia as well. You can like, you know how um, there's this devil gin, is it? And, yeah. Uh, so you could have Mia who's like, oh, help me. Uh, help me, Ethan. And then she's like, ah, I'm going to eat your spine. And, oh, like, gets God. She has to like charge up in the fight. But when she does, she's OP. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. And then you can have Ethan who is just, he just, all of his powers would be like removing his hands and throwing them at people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then sewing them back on again. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. That um, works. But yeah, I, I think for a horror angle. The other one I came up with, which I, I, I liked, was the Sly Cooper family lineage. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's so many of them. There are. They, yeah, they've got the whole. That was another one I really liked. They've got yeah. a whole just history of yeah. lines and stuff. They're all just had enough. Yeah. They've come yeah. back in time yeah. again. And then they're just like, we want all the fortune that's been built through the years. Yeah. Like, I think they could all fight each other to be like, well, Sly's got the Thievius Raccoonus. And they're like, well, we need to learn the skills because you've added loads of new stuff in after all of the subject of your games and then they're all fighting to get the Thievius Raccoonus. Mm. Just a bunch of raccoons fighting. <laughs> like, just a bunch of marsupials. Yeah. Just shiny. Yeah. They're not marsupials. No, I know. I was bringing it back. It was oh. a clever joke. What is a raccoon? It really is annoyed that? you. A uh, rodent. A, ma- a mammal. A mammal. It's a mammal. 
Well, a rodent's a, a mammal. Of, <laughs> they're a fish. They're a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're an invertebrate. I think they're not a rodent because they're quite big. It, surely it can't rodent it can't just be about the size though. Because like, like a capy isn't a capybara a rodent? What? A capybara. But they're what? I think they are, aren't they? Are they? But they're so lovely. Rodents are lovely. They oh, are lovely, to be fair. Capybara's right, to be fair. The, the, my friend, Megan, who comes in the channel <laughs> sometimes. There you go, Megan. I'm telling the capybara story. She got uh, <laughs> she got chased by a capybara. Like, uh, she she saw something in the woods and went over to it. She told me the story. And then a capybara burst out and chased her home. And it's the funniest thing, like, that I... <laughs> imagine because they seem so calm and chill yeah. but apparently they're, they're massive like, yeah they're like native to to texas and i had no idea Are they? yeah no yeah no they're like native to america they can't be they're native to south america yeah, na- surely they're not native to texas yeah but they come up yeah they come up yeah that's so, different to native <laughs> <laughs> they live there <laughs> they live there yeah they Fair come enough. visit that means they're native <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, they're evil capybaras. They wow. have they have it in them, so we could do rodent wars instead. Yeah, there's a lot of rodent wars I'd watch. But I think I think it's fair to say that we all agree the Greek. Rosie won Pantheon straight is, out of the bat, yeah. with oh. the, straight out of the gate with the best one, Rosie. That's I didn't weird. mean to. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Good. Like my my little Hades involvement. Oh, don't be coy about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so ca- me. category two we've got the reason why that mm. our baddies are fighting well do so. we have to we, do we have to adjust now that we know who's fighting because no, my be my reason i i had t- sort of two reasons yeah well one is i think that that i quite like i quite like the idea of they've been fighting so long they don't even remember yeah they're mm. just on they're just on a side yeah. and they know they have to fight but they don't remember why oh. but when it was the Skywalkers, I was kind of thinking that maybe they just had a disagreement about the toilet seat <laughs> and whether it should be put down or left up. Oh, maybe, and then the trophy can be like whichever one wins. It needs to be something, wins. some sort of day-to-day thing like that, and it's built up over millennia. But the answer is down. It's. I mean, no, it's you should be closing. What about what about where the ketchup goes in the fridge? Whoa, wait, wait. I'm sorry, Rosie. I've got some opinions that I need to air. Yeah, go on. I, air, thought, you, air I thought you might. Yeah, but I'm just, as you said it, you said it carefully. I was like, <laughs> hang on a second. You should be putting the lid down every time you use the toilet. Like, so disagree. You, as in, like, not even the seat. The lid should be down when you flush keep the germs in because it'll just be all over your bathroom otherwise right. that's what the germs do they fly around okay. if you don't Rosie want- do you want to come in on this Are you oh, I'm, the- I'm letting Ash finish her points uh, I'm letting okay. Ash- yeah, yeah. if you don't want to be the person who puts the lid down and you're just arguing on seats so it depends if you're a stand up user or a sit down user right yeah. and sit down users have to use seat whatever they do yes right? they do stand up users have to use the seat half of what they do or a third yeah. let's say because uh-huh. it's not as often as, as uh, number one in uh-huh. but number two in you've got to have the seat down so we're talking like three quarters of the time you need a seat down this is nonsense 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 <laughs> so why would you not just put it in its default position because when the seat's down and you're a stand up user you have to lift the seat up again yeah so yeah. So there is no default position. It, what's fair is you come in, you move the seat to how you need it for that specific moment. And then the next person, and then you leave it there. Then the next person in, they move the seat to how they need it for that specific moment. I just Perfect. I Sometimes just, those things will beautifully entwine in a... You see how this is a good reason for a fighting Yeah, I was going to say already. Well, I can see sometimes ashes those things, for a Sometimes fight. those things will align beautifully. A, sit, a stand-up user will sit down, followed by a sit-down user, followed by another stand-up user who's also sitting down. That's three in a row. High fives, everybody, but make sure you've washed your hands. But then sometimes, <laughs> uh, you know, a stand-up user will come in and they'll need the lid raised and then they'll do it to get the seat or oh, you always need the lid raised <laughs> so I think that that is the most fair I d- I don't that know. is the most fair that way everyone's just doing what they need to do but what I think up or down I think you should just be lidding down the whole time that's the fairest well see that, that I hadn't anticipated that anyone in the world felt that way yeah. and that changes things because if you're lidding down every time yeah. you can never leave the seat up exactly it's just easy for everyone because then you either pull the whole thing up or you pull the lid up but this is why this is why it's a great reason for a fighting yeah. a fight to break out it is I, I, I believe seat down 
I do believe seat down. I think it's the most conscientious of all users of the toilet. And also, you're speaking like someone that has never gotten up in the middle of the night after a stand-up user and fallen in the bowl, because that has happened to me. I have fallen in the bowl, because I, I wanted the seat to be down, and it was dark, and I couldn't see, and I sat and hit rim, and I was in the bowl. Who's not checking? You've got to check these kinds of things. It's the middle of the night. Yeah, to be fair. If, when I'm, if I get also... up in the middle of the night as a stand-up user, I need to stand up. I have to check that the seat is up. Yeah, that... Oh, yeah, I have had it before right, as well. Where otherwise, in the... I'm getting exactly. liquid on your seat. Well, exactly. This is the thing. It's like one is, oh, I right, don't, so I don't want to drop liquid everywhere. The other is, I don't want a bodily injury. Come, come on. on, come on, come on. Come on. on. Oh. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, that's my entry for the reason. <laughs> that a big debate of the, the toilet seat being up or down. Up or down. And a, mm. a difference of opinion broke out between the gods, yeah. uh, the Greek pantheon, and... Um, it works. Yeah. People come at, and it turns out there's the third argument, which is the lid. And the thing is, as so, well, I can see, you know, with all the different pantheons, some of them having like the, the who, like which ones would have which opinion as well. Right. Yeah. So I think that that's like, yeah, that could, that could work. I'm not going to drag you into this, Rosie. Um, but so tell us your, have you got, you've I have got another a reason. Point oh, okay. Make. No, we're done with the toilet. <laughs> no, this is like, impo- important. If you had a vegan at your barbecue, you would make vegan food for, ev- like, you could have vegan food for everyone. Yeah. Whereas if you just cater to the meat eaters, the vegan would be left out. And it's the same with twisty ups. No, it's, I'm saying cater to everyone. I'm yeah, saying exactly. you do what you so do. So if what you, you do it all vegan, no, then everybody but wins. Putting the toilet up or down is catering to everyone. No, that's yes, meat it eaters. Is. No, it's not. That's it's meat vegans. Eaters. That's sausage it's vegans. Meal. <laughs> no, it's not. It's like I just put the seat up or down depending on my environment. And where's the lid? The uh, the, the what? lid stays up, right? Well, so when I'm at home. I'm very comfortable and stuff like that. So in that situation, I do sometimes put the seat down, but generally the lid. I'll the have the lid. The, the lid. <laughs> the, the lid. <laughs> I, but so I, when I'm at home, I'm very comfortable at my home and stuff like that. So I'll genuinely leave the the lid up, but I will sometimes put it down. But if I'm out and about or somewhere else, then out of courtesy, I tend to pull the the seat down, the lid, the lid down. I just okay. view it like as a as a little manners thing because you don't want to go in the bathroom and then see you know someone else's business. I think, he, but I think what Ash is saying is it makes more sense to do it the other way around, like in your own home. I agree. Put the lid down, but it depends if you're sharing with other people. I live on my own, so you know I can do whatever I want. Yeah, lid Any down, time. seat down. Mm. I could throw the. And you're telling me yeah. that you, your lid is down. No, I'm not telling you that, but I'm okay. telling you that would be the natural answer to living with other people. Okay. If I live with another person, I would be like lid down, please. Okay. That's what I would for do. them. Yeah. Uh, if you're going in there, lid down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't number, matter how you found it. One yeah. I would, would like the lid to be down. <laughs> but yeah, I would offer the same courtesy in, in response, just so that we never have this argument. Because I'd just be like, lid for well, everyone. Well, it could break out into a fighting game. Yeah. Yes. So sorry, I'll stop. Rosie, I what don't have even you got? think we need to carry on with the, the amount <laughs> yeah. of this. Is, I'm like, I, think, I do think I've proven my point. Quite I think, well, yeah. But. I mean, mine was just silly. Mine was just going to be because the King of Cosmos from Katamari tells you to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was literally just like. <laughs> not as good a reason, I'll be no, honest. Yeah. That's the thing. It's not a good a reason at all. I was thinking loosely. I was just like, what would be fun? And I was just like, imagine if before, when you're character selecting and stuff, you have the King of Cosmos and all of his elegance in the background. Yeah. And then, like how in Katamari, he tells you to roll up everything and clear up after his mess he causes a fight between you guys and he tells you to clean it up and that's why you're all fighting well maybe but he went into the bathroom the lid was up <laughs> yeah there was some mess <laughs> maybe and he was like clean it up oh, and then yeah. was like, mess as well oh my god if you can't clean up after yourself you I don't, don't get, know you don't was, get lid I don't privileges know, I don't know <laughs> you who's don't. Not, I don't know who's not cleaning up after themselves no okay. yeah that you've was, always I was just answering the Katamari you absolutely you apparently the king of you cosmos don't get, you don't get any seat privileges if you if you can't clean up after yourself that's all you've got to clean up after yourself why do you think our fighting game should break out <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, because of the toilet right, but, okay. <laughs> uh, but the ones I came up with um, I thought of some ones kind of from like games I've been playing which is obviously Balls Go 3 <laughs> uh, which is everybody has like a, the Mind Flayer tadpole I thought this was a good one yeah, yeah. Mm. so they're driven to fight for the entertainment of the Olympics. yes that's a good one uh, the other one was uh, people being in the Dead by Daylight arena like being thrown in so the entity because the whole thing with the entity and the Dead by Daylight arena is they're all battling for the entity's yeah. uh, will anyway so it would make sense that that would kind of be quite a clean crossover and the other one was uh, was just that for a chance to touch Toasty's paw. <laughs> <laughs> to be blessed yeah, I by would Toasty's kill. paw. I would kill. I would kill for a chance I, I, to touch. I'd like to think I could just ask. Yeah, you could ask and she would say no. She would say kill for me. <laughs> 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 I'd go, do you mind if I 
use your bathroom quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I think we've just nailed the reason. I think there's. I think it's just the toilet situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, agree. The next one we've got is the special move. Yes. So, what's going to be your fatality, your finisher, your big brutal moment at the end of a fight? I have not been at all creative with this. I've just stolen one that actually exists. Yeah. Um, which is from Injustice Two. Mm-hmm. Um, Injustice Two is obviously it's the the fighting game with superheroes. And so I think it quite wor- it works quite well with Hades, I think, mm. um, for or I should say with the Greek gods. The one specifically, I just remember seeing it in a video that we made. It really made me laugh. And it's the Flash. Mm. The Flash obviously can go really fast. And the finisher in Injustice 2 is he grabs whoever he's fighting and he runs so fast that he runs back in time and he runs and he smashes them into uh, the Sphinx in ancient Egypt as it's being built into the (laughs) nose and smashes the nose off and that's how she lost her nose and then he runs further back in time and smacks a uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex around the mouth (gasps) and then he runs back to the fight but just before the finisher starts and then the next flash takes the guy and runs off and does the whole thing so it's just a loop Ooh. an endless loop of time travel finisher that's cool it's really cool that's cool yeah. I love sphinxes as well so this, like, yeah. I didn't know there was... Yeah, I was waiting for you to do the, the noise the little... <laughs> have a little... what's the noise so what's I have sphinx? a character in my uh, my other st- well my streaming channel I do with my friends and they're called the sphinx right. and the sphinx <laughs> has a they're, they're, the, the character is the <laughs> <laughs> they're they're my friend's best friend, but they're very very supportive. Okay. Um, and so, for example, if it was you, Dave, <clears throat> they go, "Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. We're going to go on a fun little adventure today, Dave. I'm the Sphinx. I'm the Sphinx, Dave. And you're going to come and you with live me." You live a Pudlian. <laughs> <laughs> I could be Dave. It's okay, Dave. I don't think I have that sort of accent. But if you think I've got that accent, that's absolutely fine and because you're, you're my best friend after all. And you are a Sphinx. And I am a Sphinx. Yes, I'm a Sphinx because I originated from the Mummy on PS One, and I was very beautiful in there, and I'm still beautiful now, and I can be wherever you want me to be, Dave, because we're best friends, and I'll follow you for all eternity. Excellent. So that's well, the Sphinx. Uh, well, glad I asked. <laughs> so when you said Sphinx, well, I was just we like, we can combine those. You know, although yeah, the the, the Sphinx is helping me, the player, kill. Mm. The it was because Sphinx so. is your best friend. Yeah, Sphinx, Sphinx is useful. Also, yeah. I just want to draw attention to the fact that you said when you stream with your friends, <laughs> as opposed to your <laughs> colleagues, Rosie. Is that what you say? <laughs> well, you're my friends as well. I stream. Uh, that's with right. Yeah. 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 I stream with that's you. Right. I've yeah, never heard ne- of this Sphinx. You didn't say other friends. No. Other friends. <laughs> oh, sorry. I should have said other friends. You should have, unless you meant colleagues. Everyone is equally my friends. That is why. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'll never entry. run away from the <laughs> colleagues <laughs> reference. I'll never run away. I'll never beat the colleagues. I can <laughs> never beat it. Uh, my, I see Ash looking at me like, what's yours? Next. Yeah. Um, my finisher move is inspired. Well, I, I like this one because you can do it for a Peggy, maybe a Peggy 7 <laughs> up to a Peggy 18, depending on the goal. Oh my you, God. Depending on the goal you'd like to do. I don't know why that's made me even more worried and, about what it is. Uh, well, actually, I think even the the game might be a Peggy 3, so it could even get away with being a Peggy 3. But it's the uh, when you're in plain Dig Dug uh, and right. you have to inflate your oh, enemies. Oh, yeah. That's right. a good one. That's yeah. a good I was thinking, one. So you Dig Dug, you can just... Plug in your pump and then you inflate them. And when, like, you know, if you want to go Peggy 18, then that can be like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Tell you what, Rosie, that's great. Whereas if it, you do like, you know, Peggy 3, it could just be like a cartoon pop. Also, yeah. it could be pop. part of it is like how much you can pump. Yeah. yeah. How, it's yeah. how gory it goes. Yeah. yeah. Like, could you, and then you could even have like a, a who's the character in Willy Wonka who starts like floating around and Veruca stuff Veruca. yeah I don't yeah. know whether she does in the original book or whatnot, but like you know if you just even pump them a little bit and then they just float you could also choose where the pump enters the body what and therefore how the inflation you know you could stick it in an ear you could stick oh. it in the belly button bum hole <laughs> <laughs> The Peggy 18 version. The Peggy 18 version. You can put, you could, you could pump up different air. It could be part of the like finishing mini game, and there's then how much you can pump as well, and then you can you get different finishers. (laughs) Right? Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Like it's good. It's added a bit of like uh, strategy to it as well. Like it's not very. It's not very Greek god. Well, this is the thing. Well, I mean, that's that's not what we're trying. We're not trying to make it all align. Yeah, sometimes a Greek, god no. just, a Greek god just might like bringing out their bicycle pump looking thing <laughs> and then just being like, 
Why is it a bicycle pump looking thing, <laughs> like, but not a bicycle pump? Because <laughs> I don't know what Dig Dog uses. Right. He goes digging oh, it's, underground. Oh, it's specifically, if, uh, it just blow people up. Right. So. It just it just blows people up. Like, well, like, it's like I a, thought Dig Dog was just resourceful, and he was just using what he had to. He's like, you oh, seen my... him on a bike. I haven't. <laughs> no, but how do you think he got into the desert? <laughs> He's not in the desert. He's how is he ground? with How is he with Liam's What's best friend, the, the Sphinx? Ground? Oh God, oh, that's God. too many questions. <laughs> yeah. Ash, what finisher have you got? I uh, again, I, you know what I'm like. I've I've come up with a million horror horrible ones yeah. like that are all just full of blood and guts. I I would be remiss to not be the champion of the jaw rip kill. I love the jaw rip kill. It's yeah. my favorite. I kill. mean, as much as you can love a kill, yeah, it's like yeah. it's properly emotive and I just love it. Oh. I love it in games and films. I love it. I just love it when they choose to do a jaw rip. And the Last of Us is the best version of that, where it's the bloater tearing Joel's jaw yeah. bit, bit off. Why is it so emotive and visceral? Is it like because it's like I can really imagine it's like i know my jaw really doesn't want to go that far yeah, yeah. like my arm i know there's a point at which it doesn't want to go any further but i'm not really sure where that is it's got quite a lot of movement yeah whereas the jaw's only got about this much yeah and then it's like i think it's because it's stop the uncanniness of seeing like just the top of a face as well oh yeah mm. so like taking away that bottom part like and a lot a lolling tongue yeah i think anything that's kind of face based or like because people are really sensitive about eyes as well but it's like the yeah. that sort of thing anything to do with like orifices for lack of a better word yeah. uh, is always going to be most terrifying like, so, like I always hated it in Beetlejuice where they put their fingers in their face to pull it and oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. grabs their nose and stretches it I'd, it always made me go because yeah. they're just like eyes, ears, nose, mouth like anything like that it's like yeah. Uh, but yeah I'd go for jaw rip I think it's got to be Dig Dug though it's got to be Dig Dug yeah. I was very tempted by the Sphinx but the character Hello, Dave but the thing is, the character—the oh, right. character I've got—it has to specifically be my friend Liam, who's the fighter, because the Sphinx is Liam's best friend. So yeah. that's why I think, yeah, I'm leaning towards a little dig dug pump. The dig dug is the best one. Definitely. So so far, we've got the family of Hades, so yeah. the Greek gods who have gone to war with each other, with all of their special powers, abilities, godliness going on, over whether the toilet sheet seat should be left up. Or down. Yeah. Or the third option of lid. Yeah. And the way that the special move ends when they kill each other is they pull out a bicycle pump looking thing. Yes. And burst each and other burst with each air. Other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like Zeus being there, like, I am the god. I, yeah. I can conjure lightning from the air. Yeah. I can do all sorts. He's like, hang on a hang second. On. Where's my pump? <laughs> Where's my bicycle pump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. So, how are people playing this? How are they getting in? Because my suggestion, right? My suggestion for, yeah. for the crazy peripheral that professional players play with. Yeah. So like, try saying that 10 times faster. <laughs> uh, eye toy oh, I love the eye toy and actually I saw you say this and there, in Sega Superstars there's eye toy virtual fighter what? Yeah, so is there? yeah, in Sega Superstars, they've got like uh, so it's an iToy game, and yeah. it's got loads of different Sega IPs that you do mini games with, and they've got one Virtual Fighter, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you have to like punch the like oh. the 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 character in the game, and then you're there, and uh, depending on where, like they can guard and block, and you have to yeah. speak, uh, fight specific areas oh and stuff. God. See, imagine doing that. Imagine getting the movement of pulling the bike pump out and being like, <laughs> oh God. "It's time to burst, baby!" <laughs> time to burst. <laughs> but I think Ito would be so funny. I think the closest you can get, kind of in the modern era, that also would be amazing and potentially very visceral. It would be PSVR two as well, like yeah. sticking on the headset oh and being like, me. "Let's go, Zeus!" Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would good. be nuts. Yeah, um, I, I, I was. I've been thinking about this one a lot. Mm. I feel quite like I really want my peripheral yeah. to be the winner. And I've realised now, literally, as you were talking about that, for some reason, that's made me realise that it's come from Power Rangers. Mm. And basically, it's this very specific peripheral that exists on the PlayStation One mm. <clears throat> called the. PlayStation analog joystick. Ooh. It was the precursor to the analog controller, mm -hmm. but it looks nothing like the analog controller. It's like two joysticks on a big, like flat surface yeah. with like all the like kind of arcade buttons in the middle. And I really want that's how I want it to be 
played, but you want you have to use both hands mm. to li- move limbs and things like a mech. Oh, it's like Power oh, Rangers. That is like cool. you're in there, like geez, 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 do, 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 like yeah. that. And that's I really think you like you really need to see this thing mm. to uh, <laughs> to understand. Where well, it's actually in a video from a million years ago on on PlayStation Access with Holly and Rob called something like weirdest PlayStation peripherals. Um, or you could probably just Google it. It's the PlayStation analog <laughs> joystick. And I think I recognise your description. I've got an image in my head, but it might just be something I've created, but I think I know what it is. Yeah, but it's the two joysticks. That's what's important to me. And, uh, you've got to, and I think it would have to be played differently. Yeah. I think you'd have to be do- moving limbs, like properly doing the moves. Yeah. I think it would be very cool. But like it's that mech thing for me, yeah. That'd be fun. I, I thought of, uh, again, something I used a lot in the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 era, but it's the uh, the DDR mats. The, oh, right. That you, like, not, that, you know when you go to oh, an arcade, God. it's a big machine. I'm talking about those, just the portable mats. So your you birthday. Can... Why have I suddenly thought about your birthday? <laughs> oh, I wonder why. Jungle Book <laughs> Jungle Graffati, Book. Yeah. Just, which just, had its own DDR mat. Just to clarify, DDR is Dance Dance Revolution. Yes. Yeah, just because uh, it took me a second and I was like, maybe people don't know what DDR is. Yeah, yeah. well, no, yeah. it's fair. Because, so you get them a lot in arcades, but they're the big machines. And like the big machines, you can use them in tournaments. But the idea that I had specifically was you had the little home ones the little portable ones you could have you know just the, the little crinkles coming out the like the when you roll it <laughs> but um you because they're more portable and lighter and you know they're not a big arcade cabinet you can also put some on the walls so <laughs> oh nice yeah so you've so you've got your one your, this is how pro depending on how pro you want to get like a break dancer yeah so you've got ones on the floor for your movement and actions and stuff but if you want to do a special move you might have to you know kick behind you at a specific ddr mat and then if you want to you know punch certain areas you've got ddr mats to the right and the wow. left like on your yeah, upper body level not on the ground is what i mean oh so you can God. punch those as well Rosie has made the dance cube oh yeah <laughs> but you're in a big arena filled with ddr mats yeah. <laughs> i love that as a concept that's very cool i yeah. do i do i have to say i do champion psvr too though for being the one that encapsulates that without breaking your spine um, yeah well i mean the thing is the psvr2 is the one we'd actually want yeah if this yeah. game gets made i hope they use <laughs> PSVR 2 <laughs> well, I've enjoyed talking about all this nonsense as well yeah. like, but also there's like there is like a sort of um, vein of content isn't there on the internet where people use increasingly yeah. there's, there's two things with fighting games there's first of all there's the purists who are like you have to use the arcade this arcade stick yeah, yeah because that's just it's or, the best yeah. and it's like it was made for it and then there's the you have to use something unlikely like a Guitar <laughs> Hero controller yeah. or DDR map yeah and so I think we've been much more on the unlikely peripheral <laughs> rather than the like this is the way to do it. the PSVR 2 is the this is how it should be done mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the unlikely probably the DDR mats although in an unlikely way I was also thinking about the buzz controller yeah I don't know if you guys have seen <laughs> have you seen Peter Serafinowicz does a does a little skit about the Mac teeny no it's like the tiniest little Mac you can get little computer and it's just one square and you have to tap you have to tap it like to, to write a letter you have to like tap 18 times and you yeah. get L or whatever oh my god and I was thinking you could just have it like that and then it, but it would really work with the Dig Dug finisher <laughs> where you just have to tap it to yeah pump that is up. true you can you can Big do the, the circle part for the pump and then the coloured buttons can be the punches different, yeah. kicks different punches and kicks nobody can move yeah, it's just but a, that's fine <laughs> yeah. that's fine it's, just, it's agreed mm. but yeah oh, what are you guys voting then for your for your one I've got to vote I mean, I think we should agree PSVR 2 is what we want <laughs> Yeah. if the game gets made. <laughs> like, that's fun, a genuine great one. I want one. to see someone on the internet using the DDR Yeah, maps. I want to see the dance cube brought yeah. to life. All right, we'll bring the dance cube to life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, finally, we also have the guest star from other media. So, yeah. we're going to have to kind of pump this one out a little bit, like a Dig Dug finisher, um, yeah. to get on to our next section. So... Let's just let's just throw them out there. I've got to be honest. This is not one I came prepared for. That's okay. So non. Uh, le- <laughs> how about I throw in a Roman god? Yeah. Because that would be fun with <gasps> the Greek gods. So Ooh, Mars. Pretender. Mars is there. Also Mars has the best theme tune. If you yeah. know Mars in by the Planet of the Sweets. Yeah. Sweets of Planets. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. The planet Sweet. Yeah. That's well, probably. Yeah. yeah. So Mars for yeah. me. Mars for you. For me, it's it's a character who I thought would work really well with the Dig Dug finisher, but it's a, Dig Dug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in the world, like in the, the the Greek gods' world, 
out the blue completely, but it's a uh, Judge Doom from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh okay. my god! Right? Yeah, like that's the really chaotic great. vibe, the cartoon oh, like oh element god. stuff that the, the I think the intimidation of the character. I love that movie. I think they would be a fantastic fighter. That would character. be great. Yeah, and you can roll him flat. Roll and then him flat. Comes back, back to life. I don't know who that is, but have I you like not seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh my god! god it's one it. of the best films ever. Okay, genuinely. Right, we can put it in oh cinema. Oh my god! We can't say any more about Judge Doom. No, yeah, no, we can't. Because we can't. you need to watch it. Who framed Roger Rabbit, though? That's the question. Yeah, well, Judge Doom? you find out at the end of the yeah, movie. Yeah, you find out. But uh, Judge Doom is also played no, by. Oh my God, Ro- Rosie. Wait, can we not say who the actor is? Well, no, because it will be. Because, well, yeah. <laughs> All people, right, we'll I save feel... it for a surprise. We'll save it for a surprise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just save everything because the film's so good. That's how good this film is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nice. We could say also it's a super. In a, do you know anything about the movie? It's the one that's like the animated with the real life. Yeah, yeah. it's so innovative and clever. Mm. It's like massively ahead of its I've time. I've seen bits from it. I've seen Jessica Rabbit from it, and like yeah. the guy who's like with his eyes oh, yeah. out. Yeah. That is it. Yeah, is it the car, the taxi? Maybe I thought it was just someone's eyes. Oh yeah, maybe it's. Oh, it's. Is it Roger Rabbit when he probably anyway? Oh, okay. My well, answer. Judge Doom, um, Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay the chef yeah he's such an angry man <laughs> <laughs> he is an angry I man I just think he would be able to take on the whole Greek what's he theory. doing with the <laughs> god <laughs> just lashing people with the sauce oh. I just think like, where's my bike pump <laughs> exactly I, I just think he would be attitude wise perfect attitude for a fighting wise, game like it's like when Nick Cage came to the horror games isn't it like right. Gordon Ramsay's built for fighting games yeah like he's he built- can be the chef for the gods yeah he, <laughs> his whole he, there's a character there's a storyline there he makes food he likes food he will battle with food he will throw but his- how does he leave the toilet seat <laughs> let's find <laughs> out which side is he on um, I have been watching loads of One Piece so I put Luffy in there as well okay um, but he's just a stretchy boy he's just a real stretchy boy a stretchy real boy stretchy I boy. haven't seen it yet um, and Shin Godzilla I put in there <laughs> <laughs> I, love- I just love Shin Godzilla like the, the evolutions of Godzilla that go in there the one where he comes out the sea and it's just like this massive big block of fish with blood coming out of his gills and he's like Ugh. and he just like slumps through this is the one Japan. I want this is the one I want to see I haven't seen this one it's meetings the movie yeah that's what I heard I yeah. was so I was talking to someone about it the other day and I was so excited I was like this is the Godzilla movie for me for sure you won't be able to find it anywhere for renting unless it's dubbed I have the sub DVD <gasps> Blu-ray if you want to borrow it. I would love to borrow it. Yes. Please, thank you. Yes. I'll bring it in. Amazing. I'll bring in Shin Godzilla. Yes. Because uh, it, it is good. But yeah, I, I bought it purely because I was like, I can't watch dub. Yeah. Who do you oh, think no, I no, am? No, 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 no. no. Uh, Madness. But yeah, just floppy, the floppy first evolution of Godzilla going. <laughs> yeah. Because he looks like such a creepy little guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> just blood gush. Um, but I think Gordon Ramsay would be the uh, the pick from, from me. Right. But I don't know about... And that's the one you're going with yeah, forever. Yeah, that is Okay, true. okay. Well, I want Mars because I want his music. Yeah. It'd be cool. But I, actually, I'd, I'd have to go... To settle the, the stalemate, is, I'd have to go with Judge Doom. I'd love I do to say think, Judge Doom, but I don't know how Judge Doom would fit in this overall fighting game we've created. But how would it Gordon matter. Ramsay fit in? It doesn't really matter. No. Yeah, that's true. I think Judge Homelanders Doom... Homelanders in, in uh, the other ones at the moment, MK1, isn't Judge it? Judge Doom actually has a bunch of like moves as well already yeah. that I can think of. He's quite and resourceful. And Gordon Ramsay doesn't. He's really, his is just like shaming. Yeah. He just shames the you other chefs. Imagine them like swearing so hard that he blows their face off. <laughs> <laughs> like. I think it's Judge Doom. I'm going to vote Judge Doom as well. Then we have Judge Doom, who's featuring in the perfect fighting game. We did game. it. We, we came up it. with it. Yeah. Judge Woo. Doom, who is a little DLC bonus pack <laughs> yeah. game that sees the characters of Hades fighting each other over who left the toilet seat up or down, depending on what side they want to vote for. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be a crazy Dance Dance Revolution mat stuck to a wall to play this game with. <laughs> <laughs> a big cube of DDR mat. That's everywhere. <laughs> and the special kill is blowing them up like the Dig Dug Bike Pump Man. Yes. I really think there's a lot of good in there. I, I think well. so, Some yeah. bad, but yeah. a lot of good. <laughs> there's like, a, really there's a lot. many different games that could come out of what we've spoken about yeah. as well. Like There's all sorts of horrors. I think this is the best one out of all of the options. We've gone around the right path. Yeah, yeah, mm. we've nailed it. And well I, done, need to wa- I need to watch the film now so I get you the do. reference. And then yeah. I'll be like, of course that guy. I think you'll really like this character. Yeah. In terms of like you know knowing how you like your horror things. Is he spooky? Oh, yeah. And evil. It's just good. He's a really good character. He's a really good, nice. really good character. Right. Well, in this small sting break, I shall go and watch the film. So we'll be back shortly for Comes of the Week. Yeah. 
It's time. 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 You've got to stop doing that. I you just, are pure I, evil. No, I just I didn't realise it was I'm happening. I'm very clearly setting the tempo with my it's time. Okay, go, go. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I wasn't doing that on purpose. Okay, for just, change. I was just hesitant. I loved, yeah, because you were hesitating. Like, oh, wait, it's, it's me. And I can see you visualising the video cuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, and the day goes, then you're like, wait. <laughs> it, 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 the it cuts to me. You see the video. <laughs> It's true. Oh, God. It's not going to work this time, though, it's unless you go time. twice. Uh, okay. You're going twice. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so it's time for me. No, if you're doing the video cuts. Oh, right. Okay. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for comments, comments of the week. week. <laughs> Yay! We got there. <laughs> right. I tell you what. All, who else is also here after there? It is Hell Diver eighty seven, who is our comment of the week this week alongside others <laughs> who says hashtag VOD squad hashtag pod squad, pod squad. Pod squad. greetings from Australia g'day I'm Greetings. watching the Monday stream later than usual. I was a bit preoccupied with the birth of my first child, a Oi. son, Grayson. My <laughs> wife and I are big fans of the channel and I want to share some amazing news with the PS Access family and the community. Whoa, congratulations! Congratulations! Welcome to the world, Grayson! Yeah, big up, Grayson. I love Large that you up. still found time to watch the stream afterwards. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it it's okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we, should we stick a stream yeah, on? Yeah, in the stream. Should we stick stream catch on? up, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Nothing else to do. Love it. That's fantastic. <laughs> True commitment there. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that hell diver and congratulations to you, family, baby, all sorts. And mostly to us, the pod squad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Raking, that was the first time you guys didn't do the pod squad. No, you didn't say hashtag. And there it was. Oh my God. You well done yeah yeah well yeah done. that's a failure from you wow there. you're so like pavlovianly trained <laughs> well yeah <laughs> we're um, just pros so raking 17 also has commented saying hashtag pod squad, pod squad. for rosie's name since she always goes yes. with rosie this was our fantasy question yes I'm what rosie's about that. My character. character yeah should be uh, i would try to honor that but make it so I tried to get on a Rosie but yeah. make it sound more fantasy like by translating it into Welsh or Irish Ooh, so that would shout. be uh, Rosie roughly in both of them but Welsh is R-H-O-S-Y-N so like Rosin yeah. or Irish which is R and then an O with a, a hat you know S-A and the I with a hat um, S-A and an I R-O-S-A-I but the O and the I have the little Right. Dashes on top. I love that. Um, Both of those are great. So mm. Irish would be Rosie and I think it would be Rossin for for Welsh. I love, I love Rossin with a H in it as well. Rossin yeah. sounds like, yeah, Rossin. 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 I'm the dragonborn Rossin. Yeah, it's that yeah. sick. It reminds me of um, Blythe as well from Elden Ring. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he's super Welsh, yeah. isn't he? Uh, and yeah, they're just Blythe and Rossin hanging out. It's funny that fantasy is just basically like... It's Celtic language. It's just Celtic isn't it? language. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, you know, Tolkien just nicked loads of stuff from, was inspired by loads of stuff that just actually <laughs> exi- was real. Yeah. <laughs> we like were real like, things. oh my God. Oh my yeah, God. These, what? Cool fa- these are so made up, these names. Yeah, Mordor's like, Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, I, I say this quite a lot, I think. Do I not? I, I haven't said this. More. No, more. I don't think you've said <laughs> oh it. Oh my God. Yeah, Mordor was the insp- No, Birmingham was the inspiration for Mordor. Yeah. Because it's so ugly. Uh, it's a <laughs> fiery industrial town. Yeah, basically. So the whole it was, it was a black country more so than Birmingham, um, but like because it's such an industrious place. It's called it was called it's called the black country because the amount of industry that was there. It's a very industrious, um, like factory ridden place. The air was black with smoke, so it's oh, called the black country cool. because you go in and be like, Whoa! because it was just <laughs> loads of smoke and horrible stuff in the air, yeah. uh, and that was what Mordor's like, where it's the the fires and the Mount volcano. Doom. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, and also, the Shire was based on Tropshire, which is just up the road from Black Country as well. Oh. Um, I didn't know, know any of these. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, I've spent lots of time in Tropshire. We live on the border, basically, between um, where Wolverhampton is and like Staffordshire, and you can go up there. And it's really nice. Me and my friends call my home area the Shire. And yeah. But now, now I realize. I, now I know I'm wrong. Well, we were. No. Right. You can also, still do you call know, it the shire. changing the subject very briefly, but do you know that Dumbledore is actually a West Country word for bumblebee? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. Bumblebee. Bumblebee's yeah. just such a good word it is in general. A great word. Love the, like, just love bumblebee. And they're great bees. Yeah. They are I lovely just, bees. Just, they make me happy every yeah. time I see them. They're called bumble. Nothing could be wrong. No. 
Oh, just soft, soft fluffy. Yeah. Soft, yeah. fluffy, love oh. flowers. Yeah, you give them a bit of sugar water and they get on no, their I way. I love doing yes. that. I love when you can rescue a bumblebee. Yeah. It's the best. It's like, I'm sorry you're in peril, but oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How sweet. Be with me. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got we've got a comment from Hans Gruber now. Get out of town. Not, I, honestly, Hans Gruber's here. He says hashtag Pod Squad. Pod, pod squad. squad. Listen to this pod whilst building flat pack furniture. Unlike Dave. I don't enjoy it. Sorry. My RPG name is Aluna, my dog's name. My comfort game is the original Dark Souls, and I look forward to playing it in bed after a long day's work or parenting once a PlayStation Portal is released. What games and situations <laughs> are you looking for? <laughs> situations are you looking forward to using the PS Portal for? Oh, great question. Mm. that's a good question although it's hard not to just like I mean every game I'm playing at the moment I would also enjoy playing in bed I think I know what I'm going to play do you? yeah is it Baldur's Gate 3? no it's Pete's Possum oh <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. See, I don't know because I'm debating whether it would be, you know, a shorter game that you can just get cozy, play it, and just, you know, just, or if because the fact you don't need to use the TV, you go for actually invest in something that's much bigger. Because I mean, at least for me, since my boyfriend loves playing video games as well, if you're playing a game that you've put over oh, 100 hours in, yeah. Like if you have you're that, if on... you're sharing a TV, mm. yeah, like you, you can if you if you're playing it on the portal, mm. you can whenever you want to play it, you can whenever, play it. yeah. But if you're doing it on the TV, and yeah. then yeah, other one, and someone's like, oh, can I watch the Traitors? Like, yeah, and no. you're like, I want to, uh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, the fair. truth is, you can do both. You know, you you would just play it on the TV for a bit, and then you yeah. can move over to the portal. Like that is true. There are no rules. But so, but this is what I mean. But I'm like, but but but, but do you know when you just if you have something portable. It's like you get you get your own little nest. Yeah. So if you pl- have like a longer game, whether you create mentally that little space of like, yes, this is like, for example, if you're going to do Elden Ring, you wrap yourself up in a duvet and you're like, this is my Elden Ring corner on my sofa. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. Like, I think I will play Baldur's Gate 3 on there as well. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. Just any excuse. Yeah. Any excuse to play it anyway. I don't think there's a specific game for me. I, I mean, maybe something a little bit easy. I am envisaging going up to bed. And extending my time with games for another half an hour. Uh, Taking so, me to bed. I just realised you can play it on the toilet. That's what no, I'm excited I mean, for. I, I honestly <laughs> thought I would mention that. And I thought we've had a lot of toilet talk oh, in this podcast. My God. But I mean, honestly, yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to be in there raging about the state of the seat. I might as well just sit down yeah. and uh, have a little play. Oh, my God. Game Tell you what, the that's actually, I think, maybe Hollow Knight. I think that... <laughs> Like in the sense, like I can. <laughs> no, no, no. In the sense that, in the sense that I can, you know, play it in the comfy corner, and then, like you say, if you're invested in a fight or something like that, then you can go to the bathroom. You and don't then need to be invested in a fight. Or bed. Or, or bed, wherever you want. Or bed, or wherever. Kitchen. Yeah, in the kitchen, but you can just carry on sort of exploring. Oh, I like it in the kitchen as well. Mm. If you cook in something, you know, that doesn't need loads of attention, you just sort of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, yeah. If you're playing the game with Gordon Ramsay on the screen, oh, you're coming after my you. God, yeah, it's a good job if you didn't circle. pick him. It's a good job because he would be after you. I honestly, I'm not sure I'd be playing Dark Souls though. In yeah. bed. I feel like that would stress me out. Yeah. And, uh, and in bed, I would like to relax. Yeah, I think a nice, um, like, visual novel sort of game yeah. where, well, where you can nice. go through, like, Doki Doki Literature Club. Just a lovely, <laughs> lovely, yeah. lovely, lovely nice time. little safe story. Yeah, I yeah. think PlayStation Portal's got loads of fun things we can do with it. Yeah, uh, we've also got a comment from Habbage. Now settle in because I'm about to monologue to you. Okay, <laughs> right? Because Habbage has written us an essay. Right. So <laughs> Habbage says hashtag Pod Squad. Pod Squad. Long time lurker, first time commenter. I found the channel back in 2018 and your streams have kept me sane during my MA, PhD, COVID lockdown and the birth of my two children. The oldest of which is now old enough to watch and enjoy the channel. Blimey. Though my PhD was in creative writing... I can tell, Habbage. Dr. Uh, Habbage, thank you very much. I can tell, Dr. Habbage. <laughs> I can assure you there aren't enough words in the English language to adequately express my gratitude for everything you guys do, so I'll just say... Thanks. Oh. oh, quick question. A oh. of the stream and pad swapping. That wasn't. This is yeah. There's okay, more. There's, more. <laughs> there's lots more. Um. Quick question, a proper of the stream and pad swapping. I vividly remember the launch of the PS2 and my mate being the only one at my school lucky enough to get one. He created a kind of lottery, whereby if you did him a favour, bought him a Twix at lunchtime, etc. <laughs> <laughs> you were entered into a prize draw for the chance to win a visit to his house after school. Amazing. And look at his PS2. Look at it. Look at it. First of all, you're buying a Twix to get, enter the raffle. Yeah. Maybe even play it. And then maybe you can, yeah, then you look at it. <laughs> By some divine bit of luck, I was one of the winners. 
That afternoon, my friends and I huddled around an old CRT TV in my mate's bedroom and gasped in awe as the opening chimes of the PS2 startup sound played. We proceeded to watch my friend play Tekken Tag Tournament. Yes! This, <laughs> along with a DVD... Great game. Along with a DVD of Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, I love Deep Blue Sea. It was the only thing he had to play on his new console. After much pleading, we finally convinced him to hand his controller to one of us. Sadly, for some unexplicable... Sadly, for some inexplicable reason, he chose the member of our friendship group known for his gamer rage. Oh, no, oh. no. The, the rob of youth. Oh, not a new PS2. Yeah, so uh, let me find my part place. <laughs> Needless to say, after several losses, including a cheap low blow from Eddie Gordo, that gamer rage exploded like a reliable Ge- geezer or geyser? I say geezer. Geezer. But I thought geezer's like a bloke from London. What, geese? Yeah. Um, I think it could be both guys uh, I can still hear the perfect silence as a brand new PS2 controller sailed across the room oh before God. bouncing off the windowsill like a stricken bird losing two buttons <gasps> oh my God we went home quite quickly after that oh sorry for rambling no. but I wondered if any of you have ever experienced or perpetrated any gaming rage at a friend's house and whether it made us it awkward as whether it made it as awkward or funny for you as it did for us all those years ago. Love you guys. No, I've never broken other people's stuff. I've never raged at someone else's no. place or anything like that because I was always a, a multiplayer player. Like, yeah. I, I was always just very happy that someone was playing a game with me. Like, <laughs> so, like, even if they were winning, I was just, maybe it's because, like, I just really enjoy playing games with my brother as well. So I was more grateful for the fact that this person wanted to play video games with me. So even if I was losing, I was just like, yay! Like, yeah. so I haven't raged at someone else's place before Oof. No, I think that was just a good story it's to a hear. great story Oof. yeah no I've never raged or witnessed another gamer rage yeah. like that like yeah. where I've never seen equipment damaged yeah <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I, I can imagine I I would be like <gasps> oh, you do that. Um, I really yeah. want to know. Like, surely that kid had to buy a replacement. Yeah, I know. PS2 That's re- actually really grim. Like, I know he's like literally like a thieves guild member. The way that he's working. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thieves guild member. He's but, clearly a very shrewd businessman <laughs> now. But <laughs> but like that doesn't mean you smash it. Yeah, it means you teach him. You teach him the benefits of being a a, a person of sharing. Yeah, that's what happens. Mm. Oh, I feel bad for him. There's no way I could ever have had some friends around as well and not let them play on my PlayStation. You I know, could've. oh, couldn't, I always I couldn't did. have been like, yeah, you can come and see it. But you can't, don't touch it. I get to play with it I'm all Tekken the time. As well. Just me. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, I was the kid who encouraged because like people to play because I think there was a couple of kids who played some video games, but a lot of my friends didn't really that much. Mm. So those that did, it was guaranteed we were always going to play. But if I had my friend round who preferred doing other things than play video games, I was always like, look, 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 I've got Shrek 2. You, want to, you know Shrek 2 do you want to play that on the on the PlayStation 2 with me yeah. and then they and then they would and then I'd have the best time ever because yeah. I was playing that game with my friends so yeah. I was always just like please come play video games with me I'm a little gremlin please <laughs> uh, honestly that makes me want to play Shrek 2 but alas yeah. alas I cannot until I end this podcast so let's go to Before We Go to make that happen <laughs> Okay, this is the last bit. I'm going to hurry you because I don't know how many interesting things you've been doing. So if it's a lot, then I won't hurry you. Okay. But if you're just going to get... I need a three-word review of Ahsoka. Oh, I like it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you, well done. <laughs> have you done anything interesting? Uh, I went to visit my friend's farm a few weekends ago. That was lovely. Did they have eggs? Uh, they had lots of chickens. We didn't see the... Oh, no, they did have eggs because they said... Quick, Rosie! They did. Yes, they have eggs. Good. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Uh, I saw a really big moth the other day. And that's the end of the podcast. (laughs) I went to Miami. Oh, God, you did! (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) Okay, right. We won't hear about Rosie's farm, but we will hear about Miami. Let's do it next time. No, I actually do want to hear about Miami. Oh, no, it'd take too long. Oh, is it really that We'll make time. I did lots. We'll make time. Come on, quick, quick review. I went to Miami Best on burger. a stag do. Uh, I did have, I had two burgers. Best one. Um, I don't remember what either of the places what were called. What was the stag evening called? <clears throat> what did you do? What do you mean? <laughs> what did you do? We did loads of things. He's getting there. <laughs> okay. I was there for like four nights. Okay. Did lots what, of things. What did you do on the first night? Three uh, words. Uh, bar crawl. <laughs> Yay. Drink. <laughs> bar crawl. What did drink. you do on the second night? Uh... uh Cocktails by the pool. That's four words. I thought I could have four words. I said no, it's oh. three. By the pool. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, Death Note for three. Um, more bars enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Note four. Um, again, <laughs> the bars. <laughs> it sounds like we it- did lots of stuff in the daytime. <laughs> this is. It honestly sounds like it had some real vices in Miami. Uh, hey, uh, it was eye-opening how much GTA Vice City is like Miami. It yeah. was amazing. And But I also, I did lots of cool stuff. We did some sea fishing or from a boat. Did I, you catch some sea? We caught some sea. Uh, and I uh, drove an airboat through the Everglades. What? and And fed an alligator. Oh my God, that's so cool. Yeah. What, safely, like, I hope? Safely. Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm fine, Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you got plaster on your uh, finger. <laughs> that's completely unrelated. <laughs> Uh, no, it was really, really good. But yeah, Miami, great. I did something. It was great. That's did you fantastic. take lots of pictures? A uh, lot. You did? No, I didn't. My friends did. Oh, we'll I'm not good at pictures. picture taking. I like a little holiday picture look at. <laughs> oh, no, I, I like looked at your well. farm pictures. That's why I'm like, been there, seen that. I know. Yeah, that was a really cool cat called Woozle. Yeah, I sent you yeah. a picture yeah. of Woozle. I was like, you'll love Woozle. Oh, I really she loves to... crisps. <laughs> <laughs> I really have to end the podcast, but I, there was actually loads of good stuff here. And yeah. now I'm sad. <laughs> I don't want to hear more. So I'm going to listen to some more. But you guys at home, there will be more in streams other good stuff that's on the PlayStation Access YouTube channel so if there's anything you want us to extrapolate on head over there ask us some questions engage we like it over there when engagement happens it's good for the algorithm (laughs) otherwise (laughs) otherwise we'll see you in two weeks with another fresh hot episode of the PlayStation Access podcast bye bye Bye. Station.